date of May, May the 1st. As we said earlier, it is the 121st day of the year. And a lot of people know it as May Day or there is a pagan festival called Beltane. Beltane, I believe, literally means fire of Baal. And you see here the name Baal in the word Beltane, such as Baal, Bel, Belial, Beelzebub. All of these are names for the devil or names for the Antichrist. And basically that represents Baal's day. Now, the May 1st is actually, you have the spring equinox here and you have the summer solstice. And remember, everything is about fusion or a center point. So May 1st is actually the center point between the spring equinox and the summer solstice. It is the day that is exactly in the middle. It's like where the two things converge and meet together. That is the, the calendar significance of May 1st. We looked at the numbers, uh, the 121st day of the year, 11 times 11. Beltane or Baal's fire is always or usually uh, celebrated, especially among the pagans, by this fire. You have these women dancing around this fire. Now, fire is always a symbol in the occult world of the God who is on fire right now. We know him to be, Revelation chapter 9, verse 11, Abaddon or Apollyon. He is the king of the bottomless pit. And that is who they are worshiping and celebrating on that day, Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5 says this, They have also built uh, the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 8, the Bible says, Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will you steal? Yeah, this country will steal. People will steal. Murder, commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal. God considers it as, as equal a crime to burn incense unto Baal, or to have a feast unto Baal, or Beltane, as adultery, lying, and murdering, and stealing. And he said, And walk after other gods whom you know not. And come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, We are delivered to do all these abominations. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 11. Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, saith the Lord. But ye go now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of of my people. Romans chapter 11. Notice all these 11's here. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And I just want to simply, I wanted to use these verses because I want to tell you that the more pagan our country becomes, the more pagan our churches become, the hotter the fiery wrath of God is going to come down upon a nation. A nation or a people or a church or anybody who choose to serve Lucifer or Baal more than God, choosing to serve him at all instead of God in their lives. The fiery judgment of God is going to come down. Now, here's the theme, one of the themes that I want to look at, and this is important, because in Genesis chapter 11, it was mankind's effort to all unify so they could all work together. That spirit is the spirit of Babel, the spirit of Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots, getting everybody to just get along, a united nations, all the denominations worshiping uh, in the same place, all the churches, all the world's religions getting together, and oh, isn't God great? And I'm telling you, God's spirit says, take a look at that now. They're not following me, they're not serving me. So instead of you joining with them, I want you to come out and be separate, saith the Lord. And God reminds us in, Gen in Romans chapter 11. He, he told Elijah. He said, Elijah, here's what you don't know. But I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And I want to tell you something. When everybody else falls, I want to still be standing. When everybody else kneels to and bows to the image of Baal, I want to keep on standing. That's what I want to do. I want to be the, one of the separated people that doesn't fall for the things of this world. I'm actually looking to a higher thing. Um, I've talked earlier about some of the um, festivals they do uh, on May 1st, the, the Feast of Beltane. Uh, one involves all of these young ladies that are doing this seductive dance. It doesn't look seductive when it's done in your village or at your school. Schools are doing it. 
But they're called uh, May Queens, and they're dancing around this big image of Baal. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But I have compared these little strands that they're wrapping around this pole to be identical to DNA. In fact, there's the symbol of the caduceus, which is these DNA strands being wrapped around this pole. This pole is the image of Baal himself. It is Baal's shaft or an obelisk or something that represents the male organ of Baal is what it is. Uh, some things that, sig uh, that I feel have been significant, uh, maybe the world didn't see them that way, but I think are significant that have happened upon this particular day that follow a particular theme. Uh, we have a whole article on this on the Hog blog, uh, www.mikehogger.com. And if you'll just search for the name Deborah Jean Palfrey, uh, or you'll search for something like that, you'll see uh, the, the, the entire article. But if you don't know who that was, uh, she was known as the DC Madam. Now, I'm going to show a picture here. Uh, you might, uh, might not want to see it. Uh, she was the DC Madam. She was a, 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 uh, a prostitute in Washington, D.C., uh, that catered to politicians, heads of state, big business leaders, I mean, you name it, that's who she catered to. And uh, she, you can imagine, she had a long list of names and phone numbers. And I don't know exactly what happened, but I know that she probably at some point decided she wasn't going to play the game anymore. They arrested her, they had a trial, they, they were going to sentence her. She was on, I believe, the Alex Jones radio show a week before her sentencing, and she was living with her mom and dad. And he asked her, do you have any plans on committing suicide? And she said, no, absolutely not. Well, the day before she was sentenced, they found her in her mom and dad's garage. And here's the image of it hanging. Now, this all happened on May 1st, 2008, the 121st day of the year. The thing that struck me about this image was, notice that she has, she's hanging and she has one sleeve rolled up and one sleeve rolled down. That is precisely what you'll see when, you, when a, someone enters into the Blue Lodge of Freemasonry. Is that they have one sleeve rolled up, one sleeve rolled down. They have a noose about their neck. Uh, the noose, as you know, cursed is anyone that hangeth from a tree. This noose image is a picture of the Antichrist. The one sleeve rolled up and one sleeve rolled down. They describe that as opposites. Notice it's on opposite arms. And so it's naked but dressed is what they call it. It is the fusion of opposites in one body. It is a highly occult Freemasonic symbol. I also found this back in 2007. You had the Los Angeles Day, Los Angeles May Day Melee, uh, which occurred May 1st, 2007 at MacArthur Park when protesters began blocking the street. Uh, police ordered the crowd to disperse. Some people did so, but others began rioting. Those at Los Angeles Police Department responded with tear gas, rubber bullets, and batons. A $13 million settlement was paid over allegations of rights violations. And here it was. It was, it was um, protesters out protesting uh, immigration laws. They were protesting the fact that uh, there were, and this is not, when you go from one country to another and don't obey the laws, you're not immigrating, Okay. You're just trying to sneak in like, uh, everybody, like people do at a movie or something like that. But it all had to do with immigration ideas. If you remember, I think it was back in 2004. May 1st, 2004 is the day that was picked. Some say Bush picked it himself. I don't know. I don't think he was the bad guy behind all the bad things that happened in his administration. I'm not giving the guy a pass. I'm just saying I don't think it was all him. I think there were powers that be that were moving and shaking this situation. But here he is on May 1st, I think it was 2004, declaring that the Iraq war was over. We know it wasn't over, okay? It was still going on. They're still fighting for several years after that. In fact, some are still fighting now. And so why this day was picked? That's because I believe that there is a link now, a strong link, and I don't think will ever be done in Iraq, between the United States of America... And Babylon. Remember, the ancient city of Babylon is in Iraq. Okay, so there is a connection between Washington D.C. and Babylon, Iraq. The interesting connection about all of this is is that the location of Washington D.C. and the location of Babylon, Iraq uh, 